नमस्कार एंड गुड इवनिंग सो इट्स टाइम फॉर अनादर स्टोरी एंड टाइम टू हार्डल अप विथ योर फैमिली द स्टोरी इज अबाउट अ स्मॉल गर्ल एंड अबाउट हर ड्रीम्स दिस वन इज कॉल्ड जुगनी आ इट्स अ हाउस एंड दैट्स अ बेयर जुगनी लव कनेक्टिंग डॉट्स इन द नाइट स्काई एंड क्रिएट डिफरेंट शेप्स जुगनी डिड दिस एवरी नाइट so she would not fall asleep before the midnight yes she waited for someone she wanted to see them she often wondered where did they go and who looked after them it was a no moon night and next she was trying to create an intricate flower design jugni was just about to finish the last petal when one of the stars in the formation moved she squinted her eyes and looked upon carefully and then suddenly the entire flower started to move she yelped in excitement but suddenly realized that she might wake up her grandfather sleeping on the other khatiya today she had decided that she will chase these dream flies yes these were dream flies that would secretly suck your dreams when you were asleep but these little dream flies couldn't hide the dreams their little tummy would glow with the light of those dreams it was a dream angel who would release the dream flies every night and they would collect dreams of all the people in the town and bring them to her then in the daytime the dream angel would bless the dreams to fulfill them jugni had decided that she was going to chase these flies today and find that dream angel and ask her why she had not blessed her dream of seeing the dream angel determined to find the angel she got down from the khatiya wore her hawai sleepers and sneaked her grandfather's torch slowly she opened the main door which made a creaking noise disturbing her grandfather's snoring <coughs> jugni skipped a heartbeat but thankfully soon he was back to playing the same old melody with his nose the streets outside were deserted it was just the crickets and the occasional barkings of the dog that accompanied her footsteps she looked up into the sky and noticed that the dream flies had started to descend she had to walk fast to catch up and soon she was running and before even she realized she was running through the forest and bang she hit someone quickly she got up and flashed the torch it was a weird face and at the same time a bat flew over her head and they both let out a loud scream I know bats. Even I am scared of them," said Weirdo. "No, not the bat. It's you, Weirdo. I have never seen your face in the night, and you look scarier," said Jugni. Jugni, sorry. Okay, okay, fine. But what are you doing here, Weirdo? I am chasing the dream flies," said Weirdo. "I want to meet the dream angel and ask her why my dream is not fulfilled yet. But, but what are you doing here, Jugni? Oh, even." Even your dream is not fulfilled, mine too, and that's why even I am chasing the dream flies. Hey, hey, Jugni, 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 look! Someone is catching the dream flies. Oh my God, Weirdo! Sodagars are here. Who? Asked Weirdo. I will tell you later. Now let's let's go quickly. They are going towards the abandoned dark bungalow. And then soon, peeping through the window, Weirdo asked, Jugni, who are these people, and what are they doing with our dreams? These are Sodagars, weirdo, and they sell everything for money. This time, they are selling our dreams. Jugni, I don't understand anything you are saying. See there, weirdo, they are extracting the dreams and using the portion of perceptions. They are dissecting the dreams. See there, they are removing men from the dreams of women and women from the dreams of men, and they are adding the portion of capitalism. They are repackaging these dreams. and they will sell them on women's day men's day fathers day and mothers day ah hey jugni but but why do they have a common category called children's day we also need a boys day and a girls day oh that's not allowed weirdo boy and girl are the same but then how is a man different from a woman and the mother different from a father hey weirdo it's just so weird just like your name jugni hey jugni see They have a dream of beauty. Can I buy that? Weirdo said with a twinkle in his eye. Yeah, why not? But you need money for that. 
Oh, it's only money can look me good, Jugni. But that is bad, right? These saudagars, they are robbing us of our own dreams. Yes, weirdo. And that is why we need to find a dream angel and tell her this. Jugni, Jugni, I know where to find a dream angel. What? Wait, you know? You have met her? Uh, I have seen her, but I didn't meet her. I was worried that my looks would scare her away. And that's when Jugni kept a friendly arm on Weirdo's shoulder and said, No, Weirdo. You would have not scared her. But now tell me where to find the dream angel. We will go and talk to her. Jugni, Jugni, you know, for the first time someone has kept her arm on my shoulder. And Weirdo had a smile which he couldn't hide. Anyway, the other night, I saw the dream flies entering the cave and they both ran towards the cave. It was extremely dark outside the cave. But at the other end of the cave, they could see glittering lights. They walked inside the cave and as they came closer, they started to hear a lot of buzzing. From outside, no one would have guessed how big this cave was. There were dream flies everywhere, delivering the dreams into a small test tube that had labels of names and addresses. And suddenly, there was silence. All the flies had turned around and were looking at Jugni and Weirdo. And then a huge woman turned around and asked, Who are you? And what are you doing here? Out of fear, Jugni clutched Weirdo's hand. Jugni, for the first time someone has held my hand for support said Weirdo, trying to hide his happiness. Weirdo, I'm scared. Oh, but I'm not, said Weirdo, and he walked up to the lady. Hello, ma'am. We have to see the dream angel urgently. Sadagas are stealing our dreams. Can you please call her? And by the way, I also want to ask her why she hasn't fulfilled my dreams. And yeah, and she's Jugni, next to me. What? Sadagas? Where? And I'm the dream angel, said the big fat lady. Weirdo wouldn't believe her and said with a stern face, Ma'am, it's not time to be funny. Can you please call the pretty angel? I mean, look at you. Aren't you a little weird to be an angel? Ah, and look who is talking, said the lady, while winking at weirdo. I am the dream angel. And why can't I be an angel? I'm tall, dark, and have a ringing laughter, and I'm always smiling. What more? And you, you are a courageous lad. And that is what makes you beautiful, not your looks. Weirdo turned towards Jugni and with a big smile on his face, he said, Jugni, she called me beautiful. She has to be the angel. <laughs> That's when Jugni came forward and said, Dream angel, we have to do something about the Saudagars. They are stealing our dreams and they are putting them up for sale. And at once, the dream angel started giving instructions. Crickets, go and find out who these Saudagars are and get me information about their fears. Based on their fears, Let's select some nightmares for the Saudagars. The angel then ordered the mosquitoes to bite the Saudagars till they get tired and sleep off. The nightmares flies started loading the nightmares and took off. And through the live stream, Jugni and Weirdo saw the Saudagars getting nightmares which they thought were real and they all ran away in their sleep. And that's when Jugni suddenly woke up. Oh, it was a dream, she said. Well, but she had a smile on her face. Her dream was fulfilled. She had seen the dream angel. She went out and saw Weirdo walk into the school. He was weirdly happy and chirpy. He looked at her from the corner of his eyes. She smiled at him. Weirdo looked down and did yes! Well, his dream was that someone smiles at him and not look at him with disgust. His dream was fulfilled too. This, my friends, was a story of Jugni, Weirdo, dreams and what we do with them.